Hi, I'm Mike with House on the Mend. And in this video, we're gonna be reviewing this collapsible stool. So let's get started. If you break it, he will fix it. If you buy it, he will build it. House on the Mend. So if you find this video helpful, you please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out. Full transparency, I am not paid, nor is this a sponsored video. The company reached out and sent it to me for free for my independent review. So let's see what's inside the box. Well, first thing to take notice of is there's no manufacturer brand name on this box. And the second thing I found noteworthy was the load capacity is about 220 kilograms. Uh, so uh, a kilogram is 2.2 pounds and that is 484 pounds. So let's see what's inside here. All right, we have some instructions, some bubble wrap around the package. And this is the bottom. And the bottom has these little feet and these are um, said to be a non-slip feature. They feel like basically the same plastic, so it's not like it's rubber feet or anything like that. You got a couple finger holes here, just like with a bowling ball. And then as we look around on the front edge, you can see there is this kind of nylon or canvas type seat cushion with those corresponding holes that pop right into place. There's a zipper on it. Where did I see that? Right here. So that must mean we can unzip it and wash it if it gets dirty. Let's take a look at that real quick. Ooh, tiny little zipper. Yeah, just like one single kind of memory foam pad inside. No other layer. All right. When you look at these two holes here, just like the two holes on the bottom, that makes me think we're to put our fingers in here, unlock it, and stretch it out. And, whoa. All right. So there is a spring I can see inside, just barely make out. And that spring I can feel wanting to twist it into its locked position. Each one of these little nubs here um, is a little mini lock. And I can feel the spring tension wanting to pull it closed and twist it to locked. Pretty effortless. Now what's neat is that you can lock it at any position. So here. Here, and so on, all the way out to here. Let's take some measurements. So fully extended uh, with the pad on is gonna be like 18 inches. Uh, just a little over when you sit on it, you're talking about 18 inches of clearance from the ground. And then we can get all the way down to completely closed is about two and a half inches. And what's the first opening? Like right there. <laughs> Not sure what you'd want to set on that, but if you do, it's just a little over five, five and a half inches for the first setting. Now, it's got a little carry handle on one side. It's kind of fun actually. Little carry handle and then right here is a shoulder strap. That's got Velcro uh, just in this little section right here. And then it's got a kind of like a uh, a belt loop here so you can loosen that and then tighten it right up to the point where it goes around the outside here. All right, dimensions of the seat, 10 by 10 inches. Let's get a quick weight on this guy. 
two pounds, 12 and a half ounces. And right off the bat, the first thing you kind of notice with this cool little seat cushion is if you want to carry it around, it's going to fall off. So this cool carry handle and shoulder strap are only going to be good for the bench itself. You're going to have to also then carry the seat around unless you want to like Velcro it down, but then you have to tear it off every time you want to open it. So it would have been nice if there was some other way of attaching that cushion. Let's see how functional it is. Tell you what, I had been sitting on these buckets. This little stool with this pad is so much more comfortable. But now I gotta find motivation to get back in there and keep painting. How much better is it to have a seat here instead of having to lean over and prune all these little dead flowers off? What's nice on this guy is there's no real sharp edge on the bottom, so I never feel like it's gonna tip over or anything on flat ground or on soft ground like this turf grass. It's really nice. So I've had this stool now for several weeks, and as you can see through all the real world footage that I filmed, I use it all the time at work and at home. In fact, I'm keeping it in my van now permanently, so whether I'm home doing chores and want to grab it real quick, or if I'm on any job site, I'll have it with me. I really enjoy it. Uh, now for gardening, is it as useful as a gardening bucket like this with the little pockets and a padded seat and a little handle? Maybe not. It'll definitely be lighter weight if you start filling this up, so uh, that's a consideration but I think it's uh, just as good maybe without uh, any storage to speak of. Now, when I first unboxed it, I was lamenting the fact that this pad just falls off. So you have to kind of carry it separately because I thought you would need to have your fingers right here on both sides to open and close it. But in actuality, what I have found is you can just hold the seat around uh, your chest and arm like this and pull the unit out. And that's really simple for me. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and permanently attach or at least semi-permanently attach the seat cushion with some Velcro so I no longer have to handle both things and have this thing falling off on me. I think this stool is really great for sports. Um, at my daughter's soccer game, we set it up and it was really handy for her to come sit down uh, between breaks when she was getting substituted out with other players. Uh, in the Amazon listing, I noticed they showed it for 
all sorts of uses to include fishing and camping, but made no mention of hunting. And I think that was smart for them to do that because when you sit on it, all these little locking points rub together as you move to the slightest and there's a little squeak. And because of that, I don't think it's conducive for hunting. Now, if you struggle with any arthritis or hand strength issues, you may have a tough time uh, opening and closing this unit. I think you could get by with the seat uh, by holding it like I demonstrated, like this, and, and anyone should be able to do that. But grabbing and twisting against the spring tension might hurt your hand a little. For most people, it's not even gonna be a uh, problem. Now, if you found this video helpful when making a purchasing decision, will you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps the YouTube algorithm to start suggesting it to more people. And thank you for all of you that have done that for me in the past. Also, please consider subscribing. I work really hard to put out good quality content and there's more videos to come. Now, I'll leave a link to this collapsible stool in the comments below. Full disclosure, that's an Amazon affiliate link. So if you click on it and end up making a purchase, it won't cost you a thing, but I do get a small reward at the end of the month. It helps to justify the time and effort it takes to make these videos. For example, the scale I used to confirm the weight on this unit was purchased with Amazon Rewards Money. So thank you to all of you that have done that in the past. Until next time, thank you for watching.